Ah, Eivor. Look at me. Part of Flan's war council. Not bad for a viking good, eh? You've gained his trust. I wouldn't say that, no. He's a bit suspicious of me, in fact. But he needs my army, so he holds his nose. Of course he does. Viking smell. My king, we are ready to deliver Alec a weighty blow. But our enemies are now alerted, and will rally in greater numbers. Cashelor Castle divides Ulster and Connacht. Taking it would isolate each from each. Cashelor is a stepping stone to all the north. It is an imposing fortress atop a steep cliff. It must be ours. But, for that very reason, Lord, it will cost us dearly to storm it. Loss of men is a price well paid. Victory will bring many more flocking to our cause. Take care, King. Your ambition may overleap your reason. What is your counsel, Eivor? Cunning over courage. A single spy slips in and breaks the gate locks. Then our soldiers flood in. It is worth the attempt. You seem to have a feel for this, Eivor. I select you as this single spy. Eivor? It's a good challenge. We have a scout near the castle. She may be able to help you.
show me. me be my eyes Hey. <gasps> Go, my eyes. Those defenses could stop the gods. I should be cautious around here. Cast about this land, my friend. Hey, are you Flan Scout? You are a bold adventurer to ask in these parts. Yes, I am. How might I enter the castle? Alone. You can try to climb its walls. A foolhardy move for such a small force. Is there a way to enter unseen? There must be a path below. Builders down there have reinforced the walls. A wily Viking could use their equipment to find a way in. I am that Vikinger.
with me. Now to open the gate for Flan and his army. Hey, what? Bravely done, Eivor. Cashelor will be ours. Taking. Sack the castle! Go witch! Get back, you puny dead. Die! <laughs> 
Launcher. To a battle well fought and blood well spilt. To Ireland. Skull. Ah. Another cup, my king. <laughs> Where's our court poet? This deserves a song. Eivor, it is essential that you speak with her. Kira, is she here? I greeted her arrival. She will build my glory throughout Ireland. Her song will be repeated in every village and hamlet. You, Eivor, with your keen eye, can give details of my bravery. The bravery of all my soldiers, for her to craft a ballad. I'll give her your message, O brave king. Beareth, you deserve another drink. <laughs> and you as well. Come back for another before the night is out. You sing with conviction. It is the mournful song of the Leofal, the ancient stone you saw at the coronation. That stone, it seemed to... It... The legend is that the stone will bring woe. But the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. From where would the song draw this wisdom? I do not know, but my mother sang it. My mother's mother sang it as well. And her mother, and hers. Back to the very first woman of the Isle. The mere sound of the words connects me to my ancestors and this fertile soil. You are lucky. I've left my land far behind. You need not leave to feel the land change beneath you. That's why I'm stuck in this court like some sort of dancing goat. Surely you can leave any time you wish. I can, and I will. But not until Flan rules all Ireland. Is he such a great man as that? He understands that to be king is to be king of all. Though I'm pagan, he made me court poet. He respects the old ways. I admire your passion. Thank you for that. Not everyone is so appreciative. I appreciate you for all your qualities, Kira. I've got more than a fine voice for singing, if that's what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? I'm asking if you'd like to take advantage of a nurse who finds herself alone with a bewitching Irish woman. Ara, don't you have a way with words, Eivor? And I'm not saying never. I understand. Ah, I all but forgot. Flan sent me to remind you to begin his ballad. <laughs> he needn't worry. I know my purpose here. If it is as glorious as that song was lovely. Flon is certain to gain many followers. Good night, Eivor. 
I'll see you in the morning. Slan. Good night, Kira. We need your counsel. Come. The army has been poisoned. Curse of Loki. Speak, Carson! Who? Th that's the man, my king! You accuse Barrett? Uh, it's him what gave me the poison. Seven silver he paid. Huh. The king of Dublin. M my king, I... I... Only the Irish were poisoned. Your deans are hale and hearty. My lord. Flattering words and servile gifts. All to mask treachery. My lord, you know this cannot be true. Danes don't use poison, and Barath is no man of guile. My king, it was him! He says to me, poison the feckin' Irish, he says. He, he, he threatened me life! Silence! Ah! Oh! Take this man away! No, 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 no. I do nothing! Kira, I chose to place you at my right hand because you see clear. Still, I cannot trust this Dublin Dane. My king, I have faithfully served you. Trust him better, lord. I said silence. Danes often fight for either side. <sighs> Barth, stay within these castle walls while I consider your position. I must first find care for my soldiers. You well know, my king. I have a friend who can heal most any malady. Ah. One of your scattered coven of forest-dwelling pagans. Let me speak with her. She'll find a cure. Ara, go. Take a soldier with you for protection. I choose you as my soldier. Meet me at the stables near the front gate. Barry, you should be grateful your head is still upon your shoulders. I am. By the gods, I am. Come, let us find my friend Deirdre. Who is this healer? She is a druid. Wise, despite her youth. Are you ready? I am curious to meet her. Poor Barath. I'm disappointed that Flawn even considered the accusation true. The poisoning had two goals. Disable our army and put the blame on Barath. But who's behind it? The soldiers cough blood. It must be the poison used by a druid cult, the children of Thanu. Who are they? When the Christians came with sword and fire, some few druids banded together. Eventually, they vowed to destroy the Christians. They turned to mayhem and murder. Many disguise themselves and live among the villagers. What of Deirdre and druids like her? True druids oppose the Thanu, but they are scattered and disorganized. That is why I am so determined to help Flan to the throne as High King of Ireland. He will stamp out the children of Thanu, leaving true druids to carry on. Tell me more about your friend. Deirdre is a druid I have known for years. We learned together. You were once a druid. I was. There are many pagans and druids isolated in forests through all Ireland. This way, across the river. The 
This land is unsettling. I'm unsure of the way. Follow the stone path as best you can. What see you, old friend? Are you ready at last to return to the joys of the forest? Deirdre, this is my friend Eivor. I'm sorry to say we've come for help. Fear me. I hoped the auguries were mistaken. Children of Danu? Yes. Flan's army is spitting blood. You know what is needed. I'd hoped you'd find another way. What is this about? The children of Danu make the poison, but they also hold the key to its cure. Amber, made from the sap of an ancient tree sacred to them. Each child of Danu carries a shard of this amber. Once steeped in its owner's blood, the power that is held deep within the amber is set free. This is a somber request. How will I find one of these dark droids? A friend of ours tried to discover the identities that Danu have taken. He hoped to find one called the Wren. Then that friend was killed. The Danu are truly dangerous. You may find something in his abandoned house. Up north near Port Orly trading post at the mouth of the Bali Sadir. I will find this Wren, steep the amber in his blood, and return once I have done. I pray the spirits guide you.
Show me what lies ahead. you see?
me strength. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
need to cloak myself here. Theater and Kira and give them the amber stained in blood. Eivor, I worried you'd come to harm. I did not, but the Wren did. May the Wren's blood ooze into the lonely earth, and feed the forest with red milk. Give me the shard for the cure. The humors of the ancient tree live on in the amber now sparked by blood. Look, it turns deep crimson. The cure will be painful. The soldiers will writhe and plead to be killed as a mercy. But in a few hours, they will be well. Thank the spirits of the earth. The Wren carried a note. A note? The poisoning and the plan to accuse Barith was the doing of someone called the Cursed. There is a cottage in Tuam where the Cursed hides. Perhaps we can find who made the poison there. It is a small hope, but hope still. It is nearby. We must go. Not yet. The cure is prepared. You must deliver it as quickly as you can. I will look for this mysterious cursed. You take the cure to Cashelor. Three or four drops on each soldier. No more. Thank you, good friend. Goodbye. Eivor, I'll meet you under the tree outside Tuam, heading south. The cursed will be your second child of Danu, Eivor. There are others. Were you to bring me all their shards, I could mix you a potion that would give you the first of the blazing sun. I will fell this one. Then I will think on the others and your mysterious son. Before you go, there is a darkness rolling toward Kira. Please watch over her. <laughs> 